So what's up, everybody? End of the year. End of 2020. About to go into 2021. Uh, starting off this uh, year, you know, clean face. As you guys see, so no beer today. Anyways, so what I want to talk about is everything I've learned about, you know, my weight loss, my fitness goals, what my goals are for next year. This isn't really a, it's not really a list, but I'll probably be saying like, you know, like give me numbers out, but it's not really like a list compiled. Everything I'm saying right now is from the top of the head. And that thing here script that I didn't write anything down. It's just what I feel right now, all right? So one thing I've learned is diet is key, all right? That's the main important thing. Your diet is the key to to whatever even I don't want to say weight loss, but whatever your fitness goal is, whether it's gaining muscle, lose, losing fat, you know, losing weight, you have to know the right diet for you. And not, what I mean is the diet that's right for you, not what somebody else tells you, all right? Like me personally, you know, I like intermittent fasting, right? That's what's helped me a lot. But if it's not for you, don't do it. Same thing with keto. I know people talk shit about keto. Like me personally, I know people who do keto and they've gotten amazing results. Me personally, I don't like it. That's just my personal opinion, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, I would give it a try, you know. But it's just not my thing, right? So find the diet that's right for you. You know, whether it's vegetarian diet, whether it's just cutting, you know, certain things out of your diet, is cutting certain foods out. Cool, all right? Just do what works for you, right? Other thing I've learned is don't obsess with the scale too much. Listen to your body instead. We all get to a point where we're on the scale, like, you know, you may have lost... You know, ten pounds in, you know, in the month, all right? Or, you know, more. You know, I'm just spit out, spit all these numbers up right now. But all of a sudden, you know, you you know, you had a a fun night. You know, maybe you had a couple of drinks. Maybe a holiday, especially the holiday season. You look at the scale and you realize, oh fuck, I gained five pounds back. A lot of people, like with that, don't worry about that. Don't freak out about that. Even if it's five pounds a day, don't freak out about it. Look at how your body's looking though. Like, you know, are your clothes fitting looser? Do you look slimmer? That's what you look at. Look at your body. Like me, right now I'm at 175. Like as I've been this fall, well, I guess you say past year, is 150. Alright. But I feel I look better at 175 than I did at 150. I mean, yeah, 150, I was skinny, you know, but I look in my opinion, I look sick. At 175, I feel better. I feel like I have more muscle mass. All right? That's another thing, too. Is just, you know, find your fitness goal, right? What, just do what makes you happy when it comes to fitness, right? So whether it's, you want to be big and bulky, whether you want to be slim, whether you want to be, you know, whatever makes you happy, all right? See what else is there. Uh, don't stop at one goal. What I mean by that is, and I've made this mistake so many times too, is once you reach your goal, find another goal to go after. So I'm going to use weight loss because that's usually the main thing people focus on. So let's say, and this is a mistake I've made myself too. Let's say your fitness goal was to lose, you know, 30 pounds in a month. All right, you reach that 30 pounds. All right, what's next? And a lot of people like they stop, like, you know, they go, Okay, I reached the 30 pounds now. I'm gonna go back to my old habits because I reached the weight. Like, well, no, the goal is either to maintain the weight, lose more, I mean, stay healthy though. Don't don't try to make yourself anorexic, you know, whatever it goes. Like, okay, I lost the 30 pounds, I've you know, now I've lost weight, now I want to gain muscle, you know, now I want to get a six pack, now I want to, you know. Like whatever it is, your goal could also be a, a not fitness goal, like a exercise goal. You know, let's say you're not much of a runner. Let's say, you know, you can only do a 10-minute mile. Like, well, my goal is to, you know, 
do a six minute mile, which right now is my goal right now because my run's at eight, it's eight miles right now. Right? So which is my goal. You know, that's it. They, your goal could also be like, you know, like, oh, right now I can only bench 135 for four reps. You know, make your goal like I want to bench this. Right. Now back to the, all right. So another thing about goals, time limits. Don't give yourself a time limit, all right? Because I feel like that, in my opinion, that's kind of discouraging because a lot of people, they give themselves unrealistic time limits. A lot of people say like, oh, well, I want to lose, you know, a hundred pounds in two months or I want to, you know, I want to be able to lift, you know, right now, like, again, I can only, well, me, right now, my uh, bench is at 185 for my one rep. The other thing I lift for myself, I'll have a spotter, so I'm trying to be safe. But right now, it's at 185. But let's say, for example, you can only bench 135. You know, you say, oh, well, my, my goal to, at the end of the year or the end of the month, to lift 200 pounds. I figure that's amazing. But here's the thing, though about that even if you can only lift even if you don't make your goal by the whatever it was the weight loss goal whether it's a lifting goal whether it's you know i want to have six pack by this time if you don't reach by your time limit don't freak out about it just think about the process you already have so i'm gonna use weight loss because it's the best example so let's say your goal was to lose you know 50 pounds in by the end of the month but you've only lost 15 pounds out of that before the end of the month. Don't get mad. Don't, you know, don't quit. Don't say like, oh, well, I didn't reach my goal. No, like, yeah, you didn't reach the time limit, but still, you still made process. You know, take it slow. Don't give yourself time limit. All right, so that's basically what I have for like what I've learned, at least from the top of my head. My goals, for, so since I have time, so my goals for, um, this for 2021. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me go back. Are they learn? Do the exercise you want to do. You know, you could exercise anywhere. One day, 2020 is talking. 2020 is talking about about being fitness. So the gym's closing. Needs you could work out anywhere. You don't have to go to the gym. You know, you could go for a run around your neighborhood. You know, you could do a couple push ups, sit ups. You know, in the house. You know, there's all kinds of exercises you could do. You know, do what you like though, all right? Don't worry about what somebody else does. I've talked about this in one of my videos before. I think it's my last one I did. Where I say, don't compare to yourself to the other guy. If you like doing weight, do weights. If you like yoga, do yoga. If you like, you know, riding your bike, ride your bike. Just to get yourself active out there, all right? All right, now, all right, so let's go back to my goals for 2021. My main goal, is one right now my 40% body fat. Now if I do my if I'm doing my math right, I should be 14%. My goal is to get down to at least 11, at least 10% body fat. That's my main goal for the end of the year. Alright. My other goal is try to cut back on my cheat meals. Right? Because that's such was that's the diet that time was killing me. Cause I usually do my cheat meals on Sundays. So I want to try to cut them back to at least only once a month. Instead of at the end of the week, once a month. That's one of my goals is to get to that point. Other than that, though, I'm pretty happy where I'm I mean, right? Other than that, I'm pretty happy where I'm at. Just like I said and before, is, you know, just go to what makes you happy. Whether it's, you know, you want to be bulky, going skinny, you just want to, you know, lose a little bit of fat or, you know, even if you're happy with it, you know, being your size, you know, just do what makes you happy. But right now, I'm mean, happy where I'm at right now, but like I said, I would like to get down to at least a 10% body fat. All right. So that's it. Have a good new year. See you guys next year. Peace out.